All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Bring the energy today, people. Bring the energy today because there's some shit we got to get into today. Um, you know, Chicago's been great. Uh, the people have been great. The clips have been great. We love y'all. Talk about it. Uh, shout out to TikTok. Let me just go ahead and go there, man. Algorithms are different on every fucking platform. <laughs> um, so shout, shout out to the white girl at uh, Indiana State. Indiana State. You know what I mean? Uh, 80 plus K. You know, that happened. You know, they, they don't pay as well as fucking Instagram, but, you know, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a TikTok. What goes on over there? No. Uh, tick, no. Tick, 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 TikTok's a vibe. I ain't going to trip. My sister-in-law hit me. She say, why am I? She hit you for real. Why am I looking? You come across my TikTok. I'm looking like, you should. You're welcome. Yeah, that's always <laughs> uncomfortable, though. Like, like, in the middle of your day, and you get, like, multiple, like, <laughs> messages on different platforms and, like, screenshots of you. Is this you? You know that's me. Facts. Yeah, you man. Like scroll me. down to the dick print. Let's make sure. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. That's, that's, that's how fucker. we starting it. <laughs> it's the Sabbath. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, oh, no. <laughs> hey, your, your ad and noise be off the chain, though. I ain't going to front. Don't go back in the episodes. Hey. They be funny as fuck. <laughs> she's like, oh. Hey, when, I, when, I, when I'm editing, man, I, I catch her not really uh, knowing what's going on. She don't know which way to go. It'd be funny, though. She, a deer in headlights. <laughs> <laughs> <It'd be funny, laughs> though. Who I'm gonna side with? I'm, I'm gonna step back. I'm gonna step in. What am I gonna do? That that steel shot was hilarious. Oh my god! Man. I was I was definitely like, where's my popcorn? Man. Boy, boy, fight. Yeah. How was y'all weeks, man? Yeah, yeah. What, what's decent? going on, man? Uh, I, this this week's been insane. Um, yeah, you've been sending too much shit to the group. I'm I'm tired of you, but go ahead. What's well, about sending too much stuff? <laughs> what what what'd you say? Uh, yeah, I'm doper than you right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk about yeah, because you was like in interrupting me while I'm sitting on a whole film film panel. Um, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a great week. Um, yeah, uh, you don't deserve to know about it, so we can move on. <laughs> cool. <laughs> man, uh, week was cool, man. Work one shit. I was inside the whole week. <laughs> Beautiful. I did less than nothing. I maximized doing minimal. Giving minimal effort. A skill. We call that efficiency, though. Oh my mom, it's not a negative thing. It. You know what I'm saying? But people, more people need to specialize in that, and there will be more stress free people walking around here. We also had my oldest nephew's uh, baby shower for him and his wife, and it made me sad again because you know my dad went here to see his first great grandchild, but it was it was a good turn up. This is the first biracial baby in the family. You know, mm. so there we go with that. It was a good time. My barber, <laughs> had, my barber had his birthday party yesterday at the Sugar Lounge out there in Maywood somewhere. Ken Day was nowhere around. So I really checked his validity or his credibility. As no one Mayor. knows him. Huh? Nobody, I, I asked around. Nobody knew the fuck he was. Do you who, know Ken, Ken Day? Yeah, do you know Ken Day? They was like, who? Mm. You who? The guy that fixed braces in the back of the alley? I'm who like, in, no. Who the in Day? Genius. <laughs> who is Day? Who, who in Day? Who in Day? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, nah, man. So, you know, one thing about cigar bars, bro, if you don't smoke, you might as well smoke when you go in there. You're going to walk out smelling like smoke any fucking way. It's you disgusting. do, you do, you do need to, you do need to know like how to like at least fake it. Man, man look here. First of all, the, the first hit I choke. The second hit I choke. The third oh. hit I choke. I put that bitch what down. You, say, you know it? what? I'm smoking. You were not smoking. smoking it you were swallowing it. <laughs> first, it first hit. First hit. First hit. It's it not. A, it's not a. It's it could have been crack. It could have been. It could have been methamphetamine. It could have been motherfucking hair. It could have been anything. It wasn't a dick, though, nigga. Somebody it, always though. have to teach me how to hold the smoke in my mouth, and, like all over. Because I'm not. I'm not a big cigar smoker. So it me takes. Either. It takes somebody like to tutor me every single time. Like, I'm try to put and then like, uh, wow. I'm trying to save my cousin. Dude. I didn't even say that. I said hold the smoke in my mouth. Crying, I, just, I, I, just, I, just, I you know, I don't See, want y'all. I don't want y'all to go too left. I understand. Oh it's, it's the God's day. Okay. <laughs> is it? Is it? Is yeah, it? man. Yo, wow. What about your week, dog? Shit, I can't even remember. I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm here now. Talk about, <laughs> talk about it. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Uh, business meetings, some things in the works, per usual. Uh, somebody reached out and said, uh, you know, tour. They want us to. Be involved in, you know, just regular business shit, podcast shit, man. We can't act, we can't act though. Yeah, and like I've heard none of these things, so. Yeah, well, when when the deal is sealed, then you know, or or, or, or when I need you, I'll tag you in. He'd be so cool, like it's nothing. His insides are jumping for joy. He <laughs> 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 teeing on his side. <laughs> 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 Big fact. That's Big fact. Though, I can imagine. Amon uh, probably be sitting in the tub like Red Run with the bubbles. Damn. <laughs> Pop uh, gold on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> with some Tim's on, though. Got to. A glass of he got Tim's slippers. You got Tim's slippers. 
No, but I want some. Y'all got some? Send me some. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. No, I can see them like flippy floppies. Oh, yeah, I need those. Do they got boot bottoms on it? Uh, that'd be fire. Too. But yeah, oh, like... <laughs> yeah. Let me get those. <laughs> Construction wheat. Okay, those wheat. You just don't color you need. A mine two inches taller and towed up is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Towed up. Oh Wait, do you wear your, do you wear your towel at the bottom or, or, or across? The whole nipple, nipple height of waist <laughs> height, bro. No, waist, waist, waist height for waist sure. Height. Like, what type of man can have? Nipple height is very similar. It is, though. Like, first of all, if you're a man, you you wrap your towel around your chest and, and like, your the bottom of your ass is hanging out. That's, that's corny, all right? Um, you might as well no, put your hoodie over your ass at the gym. Yeah, no diddy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? That, that actually means that you grew up with a woman and you, you copied the style. And someone should have been told you that that's not what men do. That is so horrible. So, wait. So, if I walk around, if we say we all pretty soon, we're going to be on the resort somewhere because of our success, you know, our art. Of this podcast, if I walk around with, with the motherfucking towel tape up here. Y'all gonna judge me? Absolutely. For what? And how posting. long is the towel? Up? <laughs> how long is the towel? If the towel is a, is a small towel, it's a hoochie daddy towel. If it hits you right at the bottom of your bun, that's like, what I'm saying. No, yeah. no. Hoochie daddy's a style though. Fam, no waist waist down, bro. Waist down. Yeah. I'm in shape though. Waist down, fam. Come on, fam. I, I work on I do I work on glutes and hammies too hard, bro. <laughs> so so why would you want to cover them up? So, uh, right, I don't I want a bitch to see them. You want so you would wrap your towel around your under your underarm tight. If I wake up feeling zesty that morning, yes. Zesty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> if I wake up feeling a little surprise that morning, a little bougie, I'm gonna do that. With your Tim's flip flops on. <laughs> I'm never gonna be all the way deep and put some Uggs on, some Ugg slippers on, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> never rock love one way above. Well, I just heard if you're not going to the resort together. That's all I just heard. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but what I what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my magic mind before we, oh my before we get started. You might open your mind up to the towel butter nipples. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, y'all. You know, I've been, I've been praising this product for a long time. Shout out to Magic Mind, man. Yeah. It really it really helps uh, keep you focused. This is um, an amazing energy shot for your brain. You know, um, excuse me. I'll be right back. <laughs> mm. Y'all sounded thirsty. Yeah, but a Magic Mind, I am. I live my life thirsty. Mm. The thirsty side. Mm. Delicious. Woo! Delicious though. Sharpens your mind, man. Lower stress, better energy. So if your kid's stressing you out, your job, your wife, your spouse, your girl, your, your late guy, taxes that you didn't file. Yeah, you know. Talk what I mean? about it. <laughs> off Whatever. The, off this shot, though, I think I could redesign the uh the packaging imagery. Get at me. That's what I do. Mm. All of He does do that. Send the email. I feel like um adding something like this to my yoga classes might be dope. I took one um, Saturday before I talked. It was, I was so exhausted. Like Friday night was popping. And then we had a birthday party, like buy out the whole yoga. And I uh, usually get me like a, like a, a, a venti venti. Can you, can you finish your shot? Why? <laughs> I'm sipping. Drink her down. Uh, low key though. I took one of these uh, before I got my day started yesterday. I worked all week. I knew I was going to be tired. I took this joint. Uh, I was able to still focus and get my day done, bro. I have a ball. Yesterday. No coffee. You know what I'm saying? No Zero. coffee. Yeah. Right. I went straight from yoga to the chickens. No diddy. To the chickens? Yeah, I went to the farm yesterday to check on the chickens. You bring one with you? Can we fry it? Can we deep fry it? We're Can not we deep frying our chickens. Come on, now they taste got I got lemon pepper on deck. <laughs> no, leave my Easy. chickens alone. <laughs> that was a long day though. We had people we uh, teaching them about seeds and planting for their gardens. So it was a cool day. That's it was, it was so a long boring. day though. Damn. Well, y'all use that uh, corner combo code. Put it right here. You know what I mean? Go ahead and order that for you. you. Say it, for what here? Have a magical code. mind. Put what, what? Right there. Right oh. there. So I'm going to do the camera like that. Boom. <laughs> It'll pop up. You wouldn't even think about that. That's, oh, yeah. that's You're right. magic editing. It's not magic. my lane. Yeah. <laughs> I get in the lane, I get ran over, bro. That's true. <laughs> I ain't the same. That's true. So Towel on my nipples, though, still. That is trash. <laughs> <laughs> that is trash. That would be so fun. adorable to see your boyfriend like, oh. <laughs> well, hey, what would Shell say? When y'all go low with y'all say, I go high. Different. I don't want to submit it that way, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Uh, high towel, high towel. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> big fella. <laughs> Not big fella. You got to throw that down. <laughs> go on. No, y'all are judging me for real, for real. Absolutely. Like absolutely Everything is hanging out the bottom at that point. Okay, so the towel is longer. I'd be safe. No. You'd be like, shaft coat or something, bro. No, man. I think, like, y'all got to wear y'all tails over y'all shoulders for exactly. it to be safe. And, and, and it has to be, like, twisted up. You know what I mean? So it, 
It fits That's like too many a, rules now. Yeah. Where you get this shit from? There's no way that you're wrapping a towel around the front of yourself. This shit got you thinking on, on 20 now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you like, wrap it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh I want to see you actually like twirl your towel. Just so you know. When we hit the resort, my towel's going to be high. I'm sorry. Yeah, I won't be there. I know I take honey packs. I take dick pills. So I'm walking around strapped. Do you even get with. in the pool? Are you a pool guy, beach guy? Yeah, I will. Yeah. Shirt off, all that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, you do it. Yeah. You, oh, she didn't see it, did she? Mm, that went viral. I'm okay my with it. God. I'm okay with it. Oh, my God, man. Straight out of shape. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. I walk, I walk with all the confidence in the world. <laughs> mom, hey, mom Duke said that shit. She wasn't lying, bro. She wasn't lying. <laughs> This shit is sexy. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Yo, mama saw that too. I don't know. Oh, I positive you said. she did, bro. I'm positive she did. Positive John saw your mama, it. Your mama TikTok popping with that stuff. All she, your friends saw it. She know her son. That son, boy, son. that boy belly button was front and center. <laughs> you got an <laughs> it? Is it an or Audi? I could, I could stop laughing. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Pretty even. It's <laughs> <laughs> he ain't one of these numbers. <laughs> Mountain man. <laughs> man, boy. So funny. So, yeah, this podcast for Chicago by Chicago. We like to highlight our businesses, our <laughs> tastemakers, our influencers. Um, and then kind of work our way out, He's man. So fat, man. Um, no, this is this, my friend alone. This is fat and sexy, man. This dad body shit is real. Though, man. All right, maybe I'll post it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll put it in there. Why do, do dad bodies got to be? Throwback Thursday. Oh, damn. Who started this misconception about dad bods? Though, like it got to be fat out of shape for real. I don't know. It's stupid. I don't know. Dad I'm, not, bod, like, I'm not out of shape. I can still footwork and I can still hoop. Okay, we are gonna stop there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Still so, uh, Kels, I want to start with you. What's good? Your mayor. Uh, <laughs> they voted thirty to eighteen. Oh yeah. To spend seventy million more. Okay, not the, this isn't the first bag. Did two abstain? We got 50 older people. Um, That's only 48. 70 million for uh, the migrants in Chicago. Yeah. Fair, unfair. Can he still pull up on the corner or are we kicking him off the corner for this? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, like on, on some level, you have to you have to take care of the issues that exist right here, right now. You can't ignore the fact that we still have to fund migrant solutions. I know some people are irritated by it, but they're a part of our community now, like the the Chicago community and money has to be allocated. Um, so yeah, like I don't envy being, a, being the mayor or an older person having to decide what happens with Chicago's money. I don't because it's not easy. Um, sure. should, should, should more money have been allocated to homelessness, houselessness, and people that were in need for, uh, for, uh, mayors ago? Yes. Yes. And when he got into office, he inherited a new issue. Like when Lightfoot got into office, we thought that she was going to be able to do some stuff. But what happened is COVID hit. So Did she it. wasn't able she wasn't able to be the type of mayor or, or deal with the problems that we thought should be her priority. COVID became what it is. All mayors around America COVID were solution, kind of, yeah. yeah, that's what it was. Yep. And now here, here Johnson is, this is his issue. So on some level, he has to deal with the issues. So do the older people. So does the business community. We all do. 70 million is a drop in a bucket. That's going to be gone. Just, just like that. So I also want to know, like, are, like where, where is the rest of the money that's going to be allocated for the, the other issues in black and brown Chicago? And that's what, that's what it is. Like, can he, can he still pull up? He kind of has to, like, he's the, he's the mayor. Either we're going to be a part of the solutions or we're going to belabor the problems. Um, I do hear all of the allies and people that, that are um, upset about more money being allocated. Um, however, what is the alternative? Zero dollars and then what? Right? Or allocate money and then what? So I think my thing is um, this is a new problem, right? But we've had problems that have been ignored here in Chicago that no mayor, including him, has addressed or tried to fix. And if they did, it wasn't $70 million worth. And I'm not opposed to you helping, but before they got here, there were issues where you weren't or whoever was in office wasn't trying to raise this kind of money or get this kind of money from whomever to take care of the problem. But that's and, not true. Okay. So, okay. Fair enough. But is, my, my, my mind goes to um, uh, Inglewood Barbie. Okay. Right. <clears throat> and, and what she's been trying to do for the last... Three to five years, probably. She has been trying to raise a million dollars to open up a um, um, uh, a, a home, a shelter. Yeah, a shelter. Will, right. <clears throat> Correct. 
And there are there are a number of organizations that have that are on that spectrum as well that are trying to raise money to keep their shelters open. But it's not for me. It's not just the friends. Like homelessness in Chicago is a problem. It's yes, a Chicago has problem. been an issue. Yes. And okay, so what I'm saying is, why is it so easy now to get seventy million for this new migrant problem when we haven't addressed the homelessness problem that's been here for? Decades. So the, the what I want to push back on is just because we don't know about it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. So there are hundreds of organizations that focus on homelessness and houselessness in our communities that are really small, like super small. Some of them at the neighborhood or community level that don't even have that been around for 25 years and don't have the notoriety that Inglewood Barbie or does funded. in France, right? They're, they're older. They're not on TikTok. They're not on social media. So I think the first thing is for us to understand like, yo, if we really care about homelessness and houselessness and unhoused, who in our community in black and brown, South and West side, who are the organizations? How have they, how have they been existing and sustaining right in front of our eyes? And how do we support and advocate for them? Now, Johnson has been in office for less than two years. These questions should have been asked when he was serving as a Cook County commissioner at the county level. Nobody stopped to ask like, hey, um, what have you done about the unhoused or raising money or allocating funds for houselessness or unhoused for black people in Cook County? And how are you going to scale that Why or bring those relations? Before you get too far gone. So if if this person is going to be mayor of a city and he's charged with being a, a solutions oriented decision maker, right, people would have been uh, within their right to say, what have you done at the county level that you can then transfer over to being okay. a solution at the city level? Right. You have six to nine million people that you have to govern at the at the county level. You go from a really big group of people to a smaller group of people, 2.7 million, 3 million. But it's still a global city, right? If he would have had strategies that people could could say, all right, how do we take that and implement this here? How much money have you allocated or how have you governed right. resources at the county level that makes right. sense over here? I don't think we had those types of conversations, but I don't. <clears throat> I don't know if it's valuable for us to argue about should we allocate money. I think as a city and a people of, of poverty that we need to figure out like, all right, we have so much money or, or a certain amount of money. How do we engage in making sure that it's allocated equitably? And what do we need to do as residents, as taxpayers to be involved in the appropriation of those funds? If that's getting on those like the committees of older people that decide like whether it's zoning or permits or whatever, like do we need to be more civically engaged to see our communities get the money that we feel we deserve? OK, OK, y'all. I ain't got to push back from nothing. Anyone else said I kind of agree, kind of disagree, but you know, uh, we all have our personal feel feelings and opinions about this. And my opinion matter matters, yours does, his does. The people that go to these town hall meetings, their opinion matters. Why? Because their votes matter to these politicians and aldermen and the mayor who who lobbied to get these votes to get to these positions that they're in. <clears throat> so I think some of them need to be fucking excommunicated and got the fuck about it. It's time for new blood anyway. Okay. The problem, I think, I think the issue is a lot, lies a lot here, is the attention that the overt attention and care that the migrants seem to be getting all of a sudden versus the attention that doesn't seem to have been received or remembered the other issues getting. Uh, and it's sad because we feel like we, and I put myself in that category of people that feel like this is fucked up <laughs> what keeps going on here. We feel like we've been misrepresented and lied to for our vote, which has been happening for years. We're misrepresented by the people we put in office. You tell us one thing, get in there and do another. Now, I tell people this all the time. Somebody can tell you whatever the fuck they want to tell you when they're trying to get your vote. But Chicago is a city stoked deep in politics. When you get there, I don't give a fuck what you, what you got in your heart, what plan you got in your mind. When you get there, you got to play the game. When you get inside the wheel. On the, on the Chicago political train, you got to play the game and ride the ride. And it hasn't failed me since, that thought process hasn't failed me since uh, the late, great Mayor Harold Washington. He was one voice, one figure whose presence People feared it was ominous. His voice was heard. Whether they liked it or not, they had to move like Malcolm X Finger. You know, they had to do it. And they were doing that shit because he had the people behind him. There has been nobody to unify the people since then. And there's been no ideology, no concepts or solutions that we have all agreed on to help this city, which is a beautiful city, but it's broken. It's broken into so many pieces. I think you can never fix it now because it's slowly becoming a city that's not for kids. It's not for families. 
It's all we already know it's a tourist hub. It's for business, and it should be for business because of the airports and because it's a tourist attraction. But all this right here, man, somehow, some way they got to figure it out. This ain't it. This is a one-term mayor. I think, <laughs> like in the rap industry say, I think this guy was a plant. You know, he won. He was the better choice between two bad choices, in my opinion, between him and Vallis. You know, Vallis' track record says he's not good financially at doing things. The school people don't really like him. But when, when the police fuck with you and got your back like that, I don't fuck with you. It's probably not a good choice on some real shit. You know what I'm saying? But here we are now. The question is, what do we do? What do we do? How can we make sure our voices are not just heard because they hear us and then turn to the same thing? But our voices are heard. Our opinions are heard. They matter. And they're acted upon. So I have a question. Um, what have you all done? Like this with this migrant situation before this happened, how how aware were you of the issues of homelessness in the black community? Would you say a, a tremendous <clears throat> or kind of moderate? And do you think that this migrant situation has helped you become more aware than you were before? Uh, prior to on a scale of one to ten, a one. Oh. Um, now with the migrant situation, probably a four, five. So you're, but this, I'm aware, like I, okay. I, I kind of follow just a little bit, right? Because, you know, I'm, you know, I gotta be at this point. Prior to then, I could care less. Okay. So hearing that, because you, you, you see it, you deal with it. Like, you, like you're, time, you're, though. you're, you're in it, um, not just because of where you were raised, but the career that you have. How does it feel hearing that? Right. So and no, no, no shade, but going from living, living in a city, being black, knowing that we have poverty, being uh, disconnected, unaware to a, a crisis coming in and now being the reason why somebody that is a born and raised Chicagoan now understands the issue that even his people are going through. I'm that not sure feel- it's fair because of how he grew up. You know, you don't really see a lot of. <clears throat> A lot of the destitute situations or homelessness in the North Pole, as he called it. You didn't really see that. You know what I'm saying? It was like folk would go up there and see somebody broke or outside begging. You saw that south, west, and way east over there. You know what I'm saying? So our views are going to be different. You know, uh, I, my, my grandma, Grandma Ward Mission B, Kesey Walnut, 10 South Kesey's right there. So we always saw the homes. We always saw her doing things. As babies, we always started doing this. So we knew what homeless was and we knew I wasn't healthy because she would she would pack food in different places. And I don't know how big that purse was. A purse like this big, but it never ended. Always had stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? So she passed by somebody, she'd give it to him. Boom, boom, boom. So you knew what having a, a, a helpful heart was, a loving heart was growing up. And the profession had helped me see more, but I was on an eight or nine when I knew what homelessness was because of how the fuck we grew up. Right. I, I knew that shit, you know what I'm saying? I think we're seeing a lot of black Chicagoans go from ones to fours, fives, and sevens. Right. Like uh, it's it's on TikTok. It's on social media. It is in the newspaper. It, it, it's everywhere now. Like we're all being educated at the same time. Some of us do not deal with seeing the 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 vagrants of society, like until you're in certain areas. You know what I mean? And I think that's the part that I'm realizing, like, wow, it's black folks in this city that are waking up to the true state of of the range of black Chicago yeah. poverty. Right. Like we understand segregation, but but now that we're looking at it kind of like collectively and we're more civically engaged and we understand who ran for office and what the mayor's job is and who you're seeing people be very upset. Like, why isn't it working in our favor? And I'm wondering, are people willing to make it work in their favor? Like, has this moved you to vote differently or be engaged politically? Because I know you're apolitical. <laughs> <laughs> right, you said that multiple times, but are you have you found that this situation is so aggravating that it moves you to at least do one different thing civically? How could it when you see that the vote don't matter? The vote oh, don't fucking matter. You how, don't... how could he? Why would it change him? The vote don't fucking matter. So it feels like a stalemate on some point. You know what I mean? Like for if, years though. If, now. if we feel like our voice, our, our voice and our vote don't yeah, matter, vote right? How yeah. do we help the people that are that were on that clip telling the mayor what they want to happen? Right. Fix it, the fucking problem. Stop. Fix the fucking problem. Don't. Sorry for yelling. I yell all the time, though. Yes, you do. If you if you gonna do this, do this shit under the table. Don't put it in our face. Don't disrespect us in our face no more. Y'all been disrespecting us since I've been a shorty. 
I'm 45 now. I guess it's like how much you know what I'm how, how much more do we have to have Tell to bitch up. That's what I mean. Like, what is it gonna take for us to be like, all right, we in here making money, we having a good time, but we're seeing our people struggling. We kind of can't continue on the same on in the same lane of our voice and our vote don't matter. Are should, is, is is this now like we need to light a fire? It's time for new blood. It's time for new blood. We can start there. It, it, it still may turn into a fucked up situation for us, but get the ones we know that have been complicit and compliant and helping this this same disrespectful feeling move forward. Get them out of there. Yeah. Get them out of there. Well, <clears throat> yeah. Fuck well, his barber still too, though. His you run for office? Huh? I need to. I swear to God. Somebody told me once before, a long time ago, I should run for uh FOP president. For real. That'd be funny. Several times, but yeah. I would, would you would you run for office? Hell no. Nah. Why not? I'd be crooked as fuck. Oh Talk about God. it. Yeah, I, mean, I probably would too. What office would Kende hold? He could be the mayor. Streets and sanitation. <laughs> Go trash ass boy. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Kende. <laughs> nah. Hey, look, I don't. I don't want to be long winded. Maybe, maybe the cultural department or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, agriculture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, and D case, <laughs> yeah, D, D case for sure. <laughs> um, I don't want to be long winded on this because the last time we talked about uh, our, our, our guy uh, Will Bynum, it wasn't true. Um, but NBC News um, named him again, and the players being sentenced eighteen months to prison for NBA fraud um, scam. I don't know if it's true because the last time it wasn't. And we talked. It wasn't what it was. It wasn't what it yeah, was. It was more and to it. And I just, you know, again, maybe they're late to to the publication. Right? They they said they got him on uh, perjury. Yeah, that's what that's that's. Uh, this is what is written in the article is yep. they got they got him on perjury, lying under oath. It did not go into any specific details. I was looking around for like what exactly was was what they got him on and that seems to be outside of you know of, of what media is communicating well, right 18 now. months is, is a lot for for perjury 18 right? hours is a lot you know baby. what i'm saying um Fuck again yeah. maybe maybe you know we'll want to come on and clear his name and talk about this um but i don't like it and and i'm not going to cast any judgment as of yet right because you know i'm sure there's an appeal coming yeah because this, this this doesn't it doesn't i thought this right. was the appeal for a new case no, so um, the the first one he beat, he got two charges, I believe. The right. first one he beat, which rarely happens, and so this was this was the other one, um, and you know, verdict came out, and this was in Manhattan. So I, I questioned, like, all right, when you get a case like this, do you have to go in immediately, or do you have a chance to like surrender yourself? Go on the run, bro. <laughs> go Russell Simmons. Go go on the run, bro. Grab your little bag. Grab a bitch. Go on the run. We out of here, man. We out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Never come back, bro. Call, call, life. Call, call you when the show is over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I was I was I was not ready for that. I really thought that it was gonna it was gonna you know go in a different direction. So, um, yeah. Well, you know, if, if you were going on the run, you could take five things with you. What would you take with you, bro? <laughs> if you go on the run, you, you know, the the, tiny the, ass the gray coming to get he got you. on his head. <laughs> <laughs> if the people was coming to get you, and you knew he was never coming back, five things you taking with you? His glasses. Okay, you too, though. You think of your list? <laughs> I'm, I'm taking. I'm taking my son's son from my daughter. Okay, that's kidnapped. So you're a kidnapper. <laughs> yeah, 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 another charge. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm definitely taking Nas' first album with me. Okay. Uh, I'm taking a lifetime supply of uh, snow crap. <laughs> <laughs> Fish man. Uh, you going you gonna stink? Every every pair of threes. Okay. Right. How you? Yeah. Every, yeah. Where are you going with I, this? I, I got the big truck. You know what I mean? It, it gets he he going to be on a Boeing. <laughs> Damn, my God. With crab legs. Crab legs and Jordans. <laughs> and uh, I'm taking, obviously, my cell phone so I can I can watch the pod. There you go. <laughs> you are getting found. Yeah, they're definitely on your bumper. They're definitely on your bumper, bro. What you, what you taking? Oh, uh, I definitely have to bring my um, tag. What do I want to bring? Uh, sunglasses. Okay. All right. I get that. Um, what else? Uh. If I'm on the run, why do I need a phone? I need a burner phone, though. You need something. I need a, I need a burner phone. I need a burner phone. Um, <sighs> but you're going somewhere where they can't come get you. They can't extradite you. Oh, 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 they, yeah. oh, 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 oh. They can't extradite you. What about, okay, okay, definitely my phone. I'm bringing, right. my, I'm bringing my phone. Um, and uh, that's it. I'm not bringing nothing else. You're not bringing no bras? I get it what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so what the same thing that bra for the man. But the, the, the fact 
my scenario, my scenario has things waiting on me when I get there. Okay, that's fire. I'm leaving. Yeah, fairy tale it up, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she moved the goalposts quick as fuck. <laughs> yeah, like I'm wherever I'm going, there will be things waiting for me. That's fire. Yeah, I'm taking I'm taking uh, a therapy pet. A therapy, therapy pet. pet. Probably a German Shepherd. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying I'm taking a chick that I can trust. All right. I'm taking my phone, of course. Why y'all taking people with y'all? Cause look here, I, I no new friends. <laughs> no new friends, bro. No new friends. They get you caught up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cell phone. I am also taking uh, honey packs with me. A life size honey packs and rhino pills. They ain't got them there. I don't know. I can't trust. <laughs> I, don't know. I can't trust them. You know, they might have some other bullshit there, though. You know what I'm saying? They might. They might only have sea moss. My question. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Do your people get to bring five things too? What people? You, your lady and his son, son. He can bring me. Oh my god! I'm, I'm, she's my plus one, plus five. I mean, one of my plus five. And I also need, I need, uh, I gotta have some lemon pepper wings somewhere. I got some chicken somewhere. <laughs> I gotta have a plug. So I need a plug. Give me a plug. I hate both y'all. Get a plug, man. Yeah, that's fire. it. That's fine. <laughs> well, well I'm we'll miss you, bro. Yeah, I love you, boy. Uh, <laughs> I write you. Uh, you funny as hell. <laughs> uh, Who's that now, Suge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Shook, 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 shook said what up to the other day. Oh, nice. Um, also, man, what what are, what are your thoughts on um what's my man named? John Tay Porter, the brother of I love it. What's his name? Play, for play Michael, Porter. Porter. Michael Porter. Michael Porter Jr. Right? Yeah. He got banned for life for betting. It's a reason Junior Jr. He not. And he's a stupid one. For me, getting banned for life means nothing. You were in the, the G League and you you came, you were on two way. You were making a total of four thirty eight k, I believe, four hundred thirty eight thousand um, on a two way, and fuck being banned from the NBA, right? Nigga throwing games, bro. Who gives a fuck? You you can go overseas and, and that's get, what and I was get wondering. Like, right? it's only banned from yeah, uh, you're only banned, banned yeah. from the NBA, right? Yeah. Does that include the Olympics? He ain't going to nowhere. Ain't not, I'm he, just saying, you know, like what's oh, the package? country? He probably could. He can okay. do, he can do all that. He yeah. just can't play in the NBA now. Who gonna trust him though? Someone's gonna sign him, right? Okay. At, at the end of the day, first of all. The fact that a player who only averages 4.3 mm-hmm. points a game can NBA control buckets, a parlay is crazy. What right? is a parlay? A bet. It's a bet. Right? Thank it's you. It's a bet within a, a bet in the game. So he had whoever these people were that that were he was placing the bets, um, they played 80 grand on the under for him. So basically, if he didn't get three rebounds, right? He, oh, and that's when he was like, I'm not playing. I'm yeah, not playing. Right. That clip's so funny though. That's crazy <laughs> that a player of such low magnitude in the NBA and, and a two-way player can control the game. He wasn't really controlling the game. He was controlling the bet. But that's the, right? that's access though. That was the power. Absolutely. His absence was the power. It hit, not, not, not his points. The fact that he could actually remove himself from the game was the power. I love that. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. you only won 21 out of the shit. I definitely wasn't His brother getting the bag anyway. Birth, exactly. 170 exactly. mil, I think. Yeah. He Big paid. bro, take care of me, bro. How embarrassing is that, though? No, it's not. not. It it's isn't? Not, not at all. You don't think no. so? No. For what? We're he, brothers. He made it to the less than one percentile of players in the world to make it to the NBA. All right. He was able to make an impact in a community that the NBA so, so thirstily Want to control and embrace the gambling community. You know what I'm saying? He is really he low key laid the uh, the rough draft blueprint of how how gambling can go wrong inside this sport. Well, I guess how not to get caught also. That too. That too. You know what I'm he's, saying? He's not the first, right? Well, this this is first to get caught. This right, happened that's what I'm now. Right. He had bet several times before this, and it was cool. But he put too much on the line, and so the, the line watchers saw that bitch jump crazy. Aww, so then they, they notified the NBA and be like, "Okay, what's going on? Who did what? X, Y, and Z." Then when you run the tape, yeah, he was out there on some on some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Poor guy. But at the end of the day, how do you expect to even control gambling? You can't. You can't. You can't. But it, I think it's a good look for both sides, though. Now Adam Silver can say, "Hey, we caught somebody. It should never happen again. That penalty was the hardest you can get. You can never come back, my boy. You know what I'm saying? It's over for you." Also, it showed the other side that hey, fuck all that shit though. Why should I think? Why should I think now that NBA games aren't fixed? Why I mean, should I think that at, now? At any level. Why should I think that? Whether now? it's the players, the refs, the re- I mean, there was, there was uh, the owners, hey, Donahue, Don, what was Don, Tim Donahue, Donahue, right? He 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 ran a whole scheme. Lakers, Kings, right? Fuck y'all, Kings. Lakers till I die. Uh, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, he's fine. He's not doing any jail time. Would you do it? You might. You might Porter Jr. You in the WNBA? Would you throw a game? Would I throw a game? And th- your average salary is like I can't. I think it's like seventy thousand for the really good players. Would you throw a game if you could make what he made by throwing games? 
That's, that's, a, that's a third of your paycheck. Would you would you be into doing that? Nah. Nah, no, it's not worth it. No, I'm not. I'm right. gone. If I'm a bum, it's over with. No, nah, but I'm still living the NBA life. And my brother, my brother. Oh, if I had a brother like Mike, yeah, I'd do it. If it was just, <laughs> if it was just me, I wouldn't. Man, nah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't worth it for me. Nah, um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that type of. I'm not, I'm not that. I'm not greedy like that though. Like and I'm not. The man, he he won one point one on the bet, but they froze that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm so oh, he didn't dang. get paid. So the people that bet on that, do they get their money? No, people, that's what I'm saying. They froze. They froze. The people, no, the oh, people everybody affected by the bet though. Oh, oh, yeah, because it's people, people bet, on both sides. It's gonna be bet winners. Him, yeah, and there's gonna be winners. What gonna be there? losers. Yeah, like, give me my money. If this was LeBron, would they have banned him? Of course not. What? If this is a top twenty player, are they banning him? No. You think so? Hell no. Slap on the wrist, suspended for a year. You got to get down to like maybe 50. Who? 50, uh, 40 do something. An like. NBA starter. If he's an NBA starter. If you're somebody that that impacts the NBA's financial, uh, tips the NBA's financial scale, I don't think you're getting a lifetime ban. I don't think so. You know, that, 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 that's, if it was Steph, LeBron, he's like said LeBron first dog. I almost got to fight your that's ass. That's right. I'm okay you know with it. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, KD, uh, Book, Ja, Zion. Hey. What's my white hopes? Uh, Dirt and Luca, Luca. You know these people, Tatum. I don't think they, the penalties that harsh. They don't have to do it because they got the money. But I think I think there's a backroom conversation that Adam Silver says, "Look, we know. Don't let it happen again." Absolutely. And it's never hitting the media. Absolutely. All right. So now I'm interested. Like, all right, who's been banned and never been reinstated? <laughs> Pete Rose. These nuts. <laughs> All right, uh, back in Bam, so, your bitch crib. How far? How far we want to go back? <laughs> <laughs> how far we want to go back? Two thousand. Okay. Ooh. Let's see. Well, twenty ten. Twenty ten. Okay. Uh, OJ Mayo, Mayo, OJ Mayo, Milwaukee Mayo. Bucks. Yep. Uh, he was banned for violating NBA substance abuse policy by smoking weed well, and which, abusing which, painkillers, which is now okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, yeah, that's wild. That's wild. Yep. Uh, twenty thirteen. Donald Sterling. From Los Angeles Clippers. Racist. Oh, no. Get him the fuck out um, of here. Uh, I don't know what happened, though. Sterling was rec recorded making racist remarks privately about to V. Stiviano, his mistress, about girlfriend. Fucking on, about fucking on black people. Uh, he liked that. The remarks stem from her posting a picture of herself on Instagram with Magic Johnson. Yep. Um, he yep. said, don't put him on Instagram for the world magic to have to see, so they dick. have to call me. And don't bring him to any, any of my games. Oh, wow. Bitch, that's Magic Johnson, dude. Who you talking about? Uh, 1991. Okay, this is the last one. Uh, Richard though. Dumas. Uh, Dumas, Dumas, Crack Dumas Crack was briefly suspended for the Chris Brown cousin. Yeah. Is he? <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> I'm like you know some random family nah. history facts. All crackheads related though. That's why the substance abuse will get you banned. I get, I, I, I understand, but marijuana, I don't like. But yeah. it, was that 2019? That was recently, like 2019. Yeah, we down. were, we were legalizing marijuana here in uh, Illinois. So then, I want to stay, stay in basketball real quick. What are your thoughts? Let's start with you, Kels. On uh, Nike signing Caitlin Clark to a $10 million deal. And mind you, her salary, very similar to... $74,000. Yeah. Yes, it's very similar to uh, my girl from LSU, Angel Reese. Angel Reese. Um, Four-year four deal. deals, like 72, then it goes to 73, 74, then like 79, right? They make the same amount of what as like teachers? <laughs> teachers exactly, right? Um, so mind you, Caitlin Clark is now the third NBA player to have a shoe deal. The two other players play for the Knicks. Inescu and Brianna Stewart. Thank you. And they just so happen to be white girls. Now, I don't want to make this a race thing, but I'm I'm, I'm going to say this before Too you late. go. <laughs> right. Um, people late. people have to understand that Caitlin Clark is a generational talent. Yep. Right. It's a business opportunity this, of a this, lifetime. This is business. This has nothing to do with whether she performs or not. They're betting all their horses on Caitlyn. Uh, her jersey sold out before she even the tip off, right? Um, she, fanfare. She's a phenom. The the ticket sales have gone from two hundred to, to twelve hundred to twenty two hundred, right? Um, so they're getting in on this money play. I don't have a problem with it. I do have a problem with the fact that you have Asia Wilson, who is a two time champion, a two time MVP, who doesn't have a shoe deal at all. Doesn't make sense to me. Does she have a following? Does she have like brand presence? Uh, you Great know, question. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's 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 literally that simple, right? Like, we we even make that decision for like, all right, how how do we bring people on the show? 
you know, so if it's a if it's a money thing, it's like, all right, well, what athlete already comes value added? where we don't have to put money into building the brand of this individual and how much crossover that does part. that talent have. So Kate, Caitlin's ability to, to attract uh, young, adult, collegiate, professional, male, female. Also, the story is a bit global in that sense. She, she, she is a, a like... Duke who? Man. You know, like in any business that can get their name attached to that energy, people, people want, and she's, and she's also grounded, wholesome, isn't controversial. You know, like she's like all of the, whatever, whatever they're doing, whatever PR, absolutely. Absolutely. And when you, when, when your brand is attached to some of these uh, other figures, that's kind of like, so, so where it's like, it could hurt you. Or you have to do some damage control. Or if I have to invest 50% more to get you on the level to look like Caitlyn, it's not a good deal right now in this shit, market. So I understand the business play. And so what So what does it say about Black women athletes and, out and, and their ability to be branded and invested in? It says that they need a new fucking agent. There's that <laughs> there. And, and also like, like if, if we don't hire each other, who will? When you say we, if our people, if our media, if our businesses don't come with brand branding opportunities, then who will? A lot of them don't have the back for it, but, and, and I understand what you're saying. But the, yeah. So I now this, go, this, this goes back to, if this is the free market, then what are we on as black and brown entrepreneurs? Are we thinking about getting to a level where we can attach our brand to an athlete? Or do do, do some of our athletes ha- now have to think about how do I use my celebrity to help a industry or black businesses up themselves? Because we got to work together. Somebody somebody has to open the door for op- of opportunity for everybody else yeah it may not be who we want to but people need to be grateful in that field they need to be grateful for who does it it seems like it's going to be caitlin clark f she lives up to the hype the word hype is funny you know the great white hype is always being looked for they are always hopeful for the great white hype i think this is actually it you know what i'm saying do go you know what i'm saying do you go you know what i'm saying and uh this is her being clam clever says she's clean Presented as clean or presented as clean, right? Yeah. We don't because know. That is opportunity for Nike to mold her image however they want to. They can make her. She's she's a she's a, a, a empty empty palette right now. She's a blank slate right now. Yep. They can mold her image and uh, to attract anybody anybody they want. Now she can get little white, little black, little Asian, little Hispanic, Latino girls to come play the game because they can like they did. Mike Mike had no. He had he was actually an underdog story. MJ was. I'm not comparing it to. But he was actually an underdog story. He got cut in high school, was the star on his college team. Uh, Dave Smith held him back. He got to the pros. It was a one-man show in Chicago. You know, he had no help. Clean image. Nice southern old black guy with a little accent. You know what I'm saying? Country little accent from North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? And Nike got, got a hold of him because he could actually fucking play, like Katie can play, to mold him. to whatever they want to be. And they attracted, they made that man global and made Nike a global, global icon in the a, in a shoot industry and in the sports world. Caitlin, the same thing. It's, it's a hell of a business opportunity. I'm not, it's the right time, right? It's the right time with all, I'm sorry. Yeah. Since 2020, the Me Too, say her name, all these movements they've been looking for, that motherfucking God in light. God damn it, it's her. And she's I ain't white. mad at it. Yeah. I ain't mad at it. Look, look, shorty can hoop. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And at the end of the day, we're probably not going to see another She'll bust player. your ass, bro. Nah, I kill her. Fuck Fam. you, man. Okay. Oh, my God. Uh, first <laughs> Caitlin. Of all, she, first of all, she I'm, can't go left. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to sit on her right she's hand. She's a nightmare. <laughs> but <laughs> but Caitlin at, Kruger. at the end of the day, <laughs> none of the women are doing what she's doing. Come on. Right? And I'm going to salute that. I'm not, like, again, I'm not, I'm not, it is odd that, you know, other players don't have shoe deals, which is crazy. It's not. But, no, it's crazy to me. not her, bro. But at the end of the day, Shorty can really hoop and... She's going to change the face of the WNBA, right? She was already a millionaire coming in with all her, N- her NIL deals. You know what I mean? Um, so she add to the bag, man. <laughs> Salute to you, Kayla, and I, stay clean out here. I, w- I will say this: um, yeah, I, I think clean. I think with somebody like like Caitlyn and and these other <clears throat> um, and other individuals at Nike, uh, what's the word I want to use? I, w- I don't want to say covet endorphin um, endorses. Oh. 
also allows Nike to sh to to impress upon the world the type of business and brand it is. Come on now. And let's not forget that Nike as a global conglomerate isn't clean itself. Nope. And so when no, you have accusations of forced labor, of environmental mm -hmm. harm, of, of devastating communities to create those very products to push, you also need a person to stand in the gap to distract everybody from, don't go over here to China and see that we're, you know, investing into forced labor or like human rights violations. Stay over here with this person that's entertaining you and, and making us look good. So I also wonder how much of this is is protect our money so we can be over here and be completely unethical while we attach ourselves to somebody who is positioned to be really, really ethical. And that's what I think people need to watch out for is that these businesses that get these really great people, these great stories also be doing a lot of harm in some of, of these other shit. places. Yeah. And that's, that's the part. So if you knew, question, mm -hmm. let's say, let's say a business wanted to rock with us. Yes, and they yes, wanted to, yes. uh, they wanted us to be yes. their influencers. Yes. And you find out that they're also uh, over on the continent um, using child labor. That's it. This was prior to me. I had no knowledge of it. it. Let's give say me, you have knowledge of give it. Me it. Me the let's say we. Let's say. Let 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 say let let's okay. Let's say we didn't know. Let's say we didn't know. We signed a contract. And then we find out two quarters down is something weird going on. Our people, right? Like, what are what are what are what are we doing? It, it depends on what your stance is on that, right? Don't, um, don't at all. I'm <laughs> throwing, I'm ignorance. Throw, I'm throwing them back under the bus. <laughs> and and you got to pay me more if you want me to stay. Oh, this this will come to the table. That's leverage. Makes sense that. You know what I'm saying? You know? That's leverage. But are 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 we going to be in solidarity? So oh, let's say we got a bag. Like we, you know, we got a Caitlyn deal. Oh, we got a, we got a Caitlyn you know deal. We. Are we no longer allies? Is I'm pulling up my past trauma from college and saying, y'all don't like me no fucking way. Y'all hating on me. I don't, I don't fuck with y'all. Y'all don't fuck with me. I'm, I'm leaning to the old stereotype mentally that <laughs> uh, the motherland don't like black Americans. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. It's like you more money. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm being honest. Oh, man. Y'all ain't did shit for me. Not, I ain't did shit for y'all. Y'all can't do shit to me. I can't do shit to y'all. Look, it's like we never existed to each other. Look. If you if you take Diddy and 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 whoever else that that I did get into this no 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 <laughs> because because look how many brands separated themselves oh oh oh, oh got it got it got it got it got it um so I mean that's business right so we have the autonomy to separate ourselves from someone uh who, who's doing some shit shady that we don't agree with right yeah so I'm would okay you, with it would would, would would are are you willing to sever ties because of your ethics and morals if first you of all find... would, would you meet would you have a meet would, can we all meet though yeah we can meet yeah exactly you we know what I'm saying. We can meet. Yeah, this is all. Oh, this is a totally fake scenario. Now, no, no, no. <laughs> this is like your five things and us but, disappearing. But it's going to happen, though. It's going to happen. Yeah. So I, so I, I do think that it is important to know, like, who you, who you in bed with, like the brands that you in bed that with. Time. Oh my god. So don't. <laughs> oh, sweeties, Peel, I'm sorry. Hey, pills and packs, baby. Pills and packs. <laughs> um, all down the line, baby. <laughs> well, let, let's let, let's get to it. I'm fucking this okay though. <laughs> <laughs> I said, y'all, y'all the host, guys. I take, I take the low road. When they go low, uh, I take it to hell. Baby. I'm it's good. All, right. <laughs> all I, all I know is this. Though. This is not for Mandela. Hey man, I'm bringing, I'm bringing Z packs from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Have me some ceiling hey, in my um, pocket, Mbusu, just in case. Um, Baku, it's over for Wakanda. Oh it's over for Wakanda, bro. I'm taking the bag. <laughs> it's over. Wakanda, y'all dead to me. Facts. Wow. I got my own family to take care of. I got my own family to take care of. <laughs> you got side side, what you got? Yeah. See what I'm saying? I got yeah. killer cab, bro. It's yeah. over with. Sorry. Hey, man, y'all might have it. to replace me. I got to have this <laughs> forums. I'm going to have to go on, uh, on, on Instagram and put my little... Uh, Say less. You, you're replaced. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, that is totally uh, fine. I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you a nice separate package. package yep, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm taking all. I'm taking hey, all of the brands with me. That's too. a bag, right? Do you gotta leave? No, no, so, shit no more. so I'm. I'm a. I've. I've been. Uh, I've been reading. Uh, mastering negotiating. Read. Mastering negotiating. Right, and I think leverage is is right. We would be in a position where we could ask, like, all right, if you want our name to stay on this, these are some of the things that you're going to have to do. And then we also would have to do brand protection because everybody else on the periphery that's looking at us that periphery. wants to sever ties because we decide to stay, like, we're going to have to figure out how to let them know, like, we need your help to move the needle over here. So I, I don't think that I would just up and leave. I'd be seeing how willing are y'all to make sure that we 
are presented in a way that doesn't cause us harm when this contract ends. All good, man. All I know is um, Pac is not dead. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's I just, time, baby. It's time. I, just, I hope that doesn't research, like bring up people looking for this man. I just recently <laughs> found a, a, um, a freestyle, if you will, with uh, Pac, Snoop, and my man, Drake. Aubrey? Aubrey. Aubrey. Brother Graham, how you doing, sir? Life Champagne Poppy, how you doing, sir? <laughs> Champagne Poppy. <laughs> that Listen, name is funny, we, though. This, it's a really cute name. We <laughs> name my dog that. We Champagne said Poppy. two episodes ago when the, when the whole shit broke and everybody was going back and forth with the beef shit with J. Cole and Kendrick and Drake. And I said, Drake is going to wait. He's going to watch. And he's going to come with some shit. Well, watch the ass, bro. It's over with. And I'm going to tell you like this. I've been watching and listening to rap and a fan of rap and been in hip hop a long time. This is not the problem that y'all want. It ain't. This is not the problem y'all want. And Drake is more than a rapper. He showed y'all that. He got into his creative bag. He got into his actor bag. He got into his uh, his production bag. Um, and I'm talking about, as this could be a video. He buy bitches bags. All that. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. The, the <laughs> fact that he decided to speak as Pac to Kendrick. And still roast and have Pac roast Kendrick and then tag in Snoop. The voice of Pac. And Snoop. The come, voice of Snoop. Come on as uncle. Just he he had an uncle vibe the whole time. He like, did, like, like Shorty, I fuck with you, but you know what I mean? You you got you gotta hurry up and do something because you're representing the West Coast. Yes. And then Snoop. For the voice of Snoop. Tagged in Drake. <laughs> and you got to say that and make sure it wasn't, yeah. you know? Like. And he said, nah, nah, nah. Nah, you can't, you can't let this one fade away, buddy. Yeah, you nope. got to do something. And he said, you better you better come with a double, triple entendre, some shit that I don't understand. Hey, man, look, Drake is not to be played with, man. Stop playing with Drake. Man, I heard that it felt like I was watching or listening to like an uh, audio version of Phantom of the Opera. You know, like where he had like one mask and then the other mask. Like how many? But uh, so when I when I heard the pop, so I did hear the pop verse the yesterday, and immediately I'm like, mm -mm. the only and the only reason why is because that's not how pop raps. Like that's Boom, not that that, the cadence, that the word selection, the word play. You she know, like more. like 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 all of that. It it felt it. I get what he was trying to do, but Pac is, and he's been gone for so long that you you listen to his old, like you listen to what he left. Every day. This right here was such a 180. It just felt, it it, it felt uh, predacious and it didn't, Seven. It, it didn't, it didn't land with me because I'm, I'm hearing Drake. No, no, for sure. But, but I, think, Snoop, I, think, I think that was on purpose too as well. Though. Yeah, yeah. It, it just, I think for the fans of Pac, it was just like, kind of like this moment of like, wait, that's, is, that ain't. That's but I know, you know, like you, you, you had, you, you had idea. like a, a feeling, but we, we've seen AI be used in malicious and weird ways. Oh, I, that think wasn't AI just new. I think he used it to his advantage though. Well, I mean, right. every everybody has been, so I'm, I wasn't impressed with that because this is like par for the course. We've seen people use AI and create where people are like, oh, what? So yeah. it's it's not like he created that. Like, he's just, it's just a part of the landscape now. But when Snoop's first came on, the voice of Snoop, it, it felt much more authentic. Like, that's how Snoop. But I still heard Drake in that. I still, I still I heard disagree. it, but like the energy, the energy was still more like, okay, Snoopish. I could... Yeah, it, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he yeah. was he was able to channel yeah, that energy that a little bit more appropriate. Because I'm like, how old was Drake when this Pop was, was was out? Probably baby. Yeah, thirty something. You know, I'm forty something. You know. Had he been like a forty five year old man with Pop, I think it would have sounded more like it would have been a. You think he would have rapped more like Pop? I think I think so because okay. kind of like you had to be there. Right, you had to be there when hit him up was hitting him up. That creativity was off the chain, bro. It was off the chain uh, in a, in the AI age. That was smart. Now, when I heard, I'm looking like what you said. This ain't how Pac rap. Uh, and I heard Snoop. I said, this ain't how Snoop rap. This is an Aubrey Graham verse. Pac's verse is an Aubrey Graham verse. The cadence is Drake. Damn. Oh, <laughs> that's his real name? Yeah, Aubrey Graham. I never knew. <laughs> Drake. I'm going to say Drake now. Thank okay? you. Yeah. <laughs> his moniker. <laughs> how, how Pac verse came, was laid. How Snoop verse was laid is how Drake raps. Which was impressive to me. That means you can you can you can uh, mimic, be a comedian to styles. 
I don't know if he used some kind of voice machine to make his voice sound like Tupac, yeah. or, he, or he input into AI rap like Drake and Tupac's voice, or rap like Drake and Snoop's voice, and did that shit. It was hella creative over a Dr. Dre beat. That wasn't shit but a Dre beat. I'm like, Joe, if it don't get no more disrespectful than using this man's heroes against him over the man who signed him to diss him at the end in your own voice, I say, dog, this is worth. Dear Kendrick Lamar, you got Chicago roots because you're one of, I think your daddy and mom from here. You know what I'm saying? You, you look here, man. The dog is in you. Pause. The dog's in your blood, bro. You gotta do something. You are letting your fans down. Uh, they say J. Cole said he let Nas down. Simba said J. Cole let his squad down and Nas down. You letting your whole fan base down. You letting Sink Q down right now. Q Billa. Q. I ain't heard from you, bro. Yo, page is hella quiet. You talking about some other nationalities and music now, other coast of music, bro. <laughs> Get back to this rap, he bro. Didn't change the your subject. boy, your boy is six feet deep. Barry Live, the song will take care of Barry Live at the end of Marvin's room. K Dot right here, Barry Live right now. Oh he is God. Barry Live. This is two. This is okay, one song in the you, verse. You yelling? You yelling? Yeah, you right. One, yelling. This, is, this is one song in the verse. I'm talking about two boys. This is one song in the verse, nephew. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a song in the verse, bro. He telling you he baited you out. He jamming you. You look like motherfucking Devin Haney right now, K Dot. Who's that? The box that lost last night that had all the belts lost to the Mexican guy. The Garcia. Garcia. I have my money on Garcia. And, and Drake look like Garcia right now. He's fucking you up. <laughs> Everybody thought he was crazy. All the Instagram shit, all the, the bar rats and painted nails. They thought Drake was crazy. He ain't got it no more. That boy Penn was just probably rusty because he was making hits. But what, if you get, that's what I'm saying about rap, bro, and beef. Pause. She said boy beef earlier. I couldn't say pause. She said you guys love boy beef. I said no, I don't love boy beef. I like no kind of beef. I let her get away with that shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Good call. But hey. Boom. Uh, <laughs> When when you when you got a gift, like K Dot has a gift, J. Cole has a gift, Jay-Z had a gift, Big E Pop, Drake, they all got these rappers have gifts. Nah, they have gifts. Okay, they have gifts. When you got it, don't just fall, it don't just go away. Something like that. That's a mental thing. You have to start losing your mental capacity. Oh. For, for your mental uh faculties, you know what I'm saying? To uh for this shit to go away, bro. I think they put everybody on the clock for this rap beef type shit though. Kendrick, if you don't respond, bro, it's over with. It's over with, you know what I'm saying? And what does this do? What does this do for rap? Nothing. You yelling again? Yes, I might keep yelling. So, so here, here's Don't what do it does. Here's what it does. We all probably it's can just agree. A big one now, bro. We all probably can agree that rap has been boring, right? There hasn't Who been. Who said a, that first? You said it. Thank you. Right. Um, rap has been very boring. Um, you you got you got the executives and and them grabbing artists and just making them TikTok you stars. Yeah, out of better than real uh, artists. You know, one 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 hit wonder deals and this whole nine three sixty deals. And no one is making solid albums anymore, right? Hip hop has become very dormant. And when I say that this is necessary, it wakes people up. I'm interested to see now who is going to come with a solid album. Fuck the fact that if 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 Kendrick Lamar responds or not. Well, right? said that you said come it, on, sir. Bro. What I'm also saying is I want good music from. Our legends are our, our, our people that are still popping and our up and coming artists. Right? You has been y'all still with y'all that though. Let's get back to the music. <laughs> right? they, I don't even know Curtis Blow. No, I understand. No everybody want their bag, no right? Bag. You're gonna get the bag if you make the good music. The bag is gonna come. Don't chase the bag. Allegedly. Love the music. There's a difference when you don't love the music. Don't listen to him. Chase the bag, bro. Chase the bag. Look, love the <laughs> love, <laughs> love the music. He can't run right? after it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> 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 My fault. <laughs> uh, I had to get one off. Man, pause. Ugh, that was nasty. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> at the end of the day, I love this shit. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I want to be very clear because we we've been going back and forth, pause on the last three four shows. So score, um, score beat, about when you get done about um, it leading to violence. I'm not a proponent of rap leading to violence. Right. What I what I do like is the blood sport of rap, the competitiveness of rap. You gotta call and it if, sport, don't you? If we can, <laughs> trying if, to call it, if we sport. can leave it in the in the studio, if we can leave it in the booth, and then when you see each other, oh man, you got me on this one. Oh, that was funny, right? Be men about it. Then I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with this. But when you talk about men who completely have soft skin. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah, because because you because, because you can't you can't take the fact that somebody got you in a verse right or said X Y and Z about you and you feel the pressures of social media and you can't just meditate on that magic mind. You know what I'm saying? Like 
Motherfuckers got dunked, dunked on, crossed over, and failed, made memes up, and you go out there and you shake the motherfucking hand when you see him, and you laugh about it, and you keep it moving. You, the, the objective is to get him the next time, if there is next time, right? It right. doesn't mean that it has to turn into fisticuffs Why not? or shootouts. Fisticuffs. What happened to Clemente there when they started to jump on us? Oh, man, they, they did some wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was the worst shit on earth, bro. You know, I'm, Puerto Ricans come out the bleachers, the light fixtures, the yeah. locker room, the water fountain. We was like, what? We got to get uh, out so, of here. So how much longer do you all think this is going to go? They have, I think they they awakened the beast. I'm not trying to glaze Drake, you know what I'm saying? I'm just calling it what it is. They, they've stoked the fire long enough. Always talk about these ghostwriting accusations. He's soft, he's sensitive. So now the motherfucker came outside to play. Where the fuck y'all at? He finna pick at them until he fall apart. He already Ooh. said he's been picking up until they fall apart. Kendrick, Rose, Kanye jumped back in the beef. Yep. Let's so I'm about to say, let's make some predictions. Who do you think is going is going is going to jump in or catch a stray? Everybody ain't no strays. This is all intentional. Yeah. This no, is I'm all saying, but intentional. like like you never know. Like at this point, like it, it feels like I it, think John Morant caught a stray for no reason. <laughs> like fair. I ain't never heard him beefing with John Morant. He said, the little, shout out to the ball player that do the gritty. I say, damn, what John Morant do? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, who, yeah. who do we think is going to catch the strays? And it's like, I think there's going to be some more ball yet. players. I all, think some all, ball players. All the guys and the women who just thirst to be around Drake. Like, he's watching this shit. He hear what yeah. the fuck going on. Like, oh, okay, you're a groupie. You're a male groupie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you my guy. Not really. Any lady MCs you think going to gonna be in this? Nah, they don't want that smoke. I'm Why saying not? like uh, you, not, you never know. That's what I'm saying. Like this now at this point it's unpredictable. So who who could you who could you see uh, like uh not minding their own business and uh having some better exes? Say, Ooh. And a lot of these exes are socialites. Yeah, they they'll, they'll go on the podcast and say some shit, but like not Tia, on some down and get, throw some Rick Ross dirt out there right now. Who do you think will write a write a verse for somebody's ex and have them uh, spit it? Drake. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or, or Ross. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. He right there. I, I, would, hey. I would totally ruin my life. Oh, like, my I would, God. Write me a verse, <laughs> yeah. You <laughs> said you ruin your life. <laughs> I would. Just, just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. In, I, in, I would in a go-go. Watch. In yeah, a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would be on tour rapping that. I'd be like practicing hey, on that one verse or ad lib. And let's like, be clear. Uh, the shit that Ross <laughs> dropping, nah, fam, it ain't hitting... It ain't hitting. Just, just I only like, heard one song. Oh, yeah, the, it's like two. It's Ross, like two. So I heard the first one, and it took some time for him to get into it. It was kind of like he was digging his potatoes, like yeah, got- jumping double dutch, <laughs> and like he finally got in there, and it was a booty in the rope. Yeah, he 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 good on social media and all shit, but Ross just chill, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this, like hey, bro, go rap. Don't do the dozens. Make a track. Make a track. Well, that was it. So uh, he kept talking about marble floors and like cars and his stuff. Luxury and rap, then, yeah. And then and then it got to. Uh, the insults and uh, the dis- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, that's cool, man. But speaking, but what of- does he have to do with it though? Like, what happened? I, don't I feel know, like this they, is like, like a hip hop soap on, opera. On, right yeah, now. it's it's, it's Speak weird. Of great man. Musical. People unfollow people. Like, who cares? It's really like, goofy. Like, it lets me know that everybody pillow talk. Everybody li- pillow talk. People are holding on to tea. You know what I'm saying? That they want to spill about somebody they really don't like. Ain't no friends in the industry. What, what rap group said that a long time ago? There are no friends in the industry. No friends. Y'all had to get money, get in, get out, bro. Probably Wu Tang. You didn't get out. <laughs> go, go to this next one, though, bro, because it's it's funny that she said what female MC can see jumping in there. And I know I read that old girl is jumping in the booth because of what's going on between Quavo and Chris Brown, bro. Who's old girl? Sweetie. Saweetie? Saweetie. I, I do love her, though. I do. I ain't gonna front oh. you, though. You know what I'm saying? That, so, like, so I feel like that, then, then things would get even more interesting. Like, what is going on? Yeah, she like, said she's going to the booth. Okay, all right. But th- that, that beef is funny to me because people get hyped about this Chris Brown verse. You haven't heard it drop. It's called Weakest Link. That's a weak-ass name. Okay? <laughs> it's a weak-ass name. And if you have to tell somebody you got body by R&B singer, you didn't body him. You have to tell somebody your affiliations. Fam, how real are you? You said at the beginning of this song that the West Coast B's and C's probably look at you sideways for, but you're not from there. You're from Virginia. You East Coast B's and C's are different. You Down South B's and C's are different. Uh... But how can you come on a diss track and say you beat up a bitch, but you beat up a bitch? And we saw Rihanna's face after that alleged incident, and we saw Sweetie's face, and it looked totally different. How can you? This is an emotional rant laced with pillow talk, bro. Why are you talking about who draws you being? What the fuck does she have to do with this? Why y'all still fucking the same chicks, bro? You know this dude is insane. Facts. This dude is insane over old girl Karuchi. He shout her name out every song. He want to fight the game over saying Karuchi. He fights anybody that says Karuchi's name. Like, bro, let it go. Is he coming for you now? 
I don't give a fuck. I whooped Chris' ass. I said, <laughs> hey, I was security for the him and little baby. Chris, you don't sing the same. You don't dance the same. You don't look the same. You look pale and pasty, bro. I saw you. Unless you cleaned up since then, you look pale and pasty, bro. What I mean, is- you got nothing to do, bro. Don't rap. Hey, Go back to he singing. Roachy. Huh? <laughs> pasty, Roachy, oh, Roachy. <laughs> It, it, it's, it's different, man. Like, go back to singing, bro. Take the auto tune out your voice. Don't go rap. Give us, you dropped a whole deluxe edition to give us this bullshit. You could, first of all, shorten the length of your, your albums, about 12 songs. We don't need 40 fucking songs from you, bro. I'm sorry. We just don't need it. We don't have the attention span to uh, digest that. We just don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? And then to get on that talking tough, you got a mumble rapper versus uh, <laughs> a. I uh, used to be singy dancy. First of all, singy you want to be him. You want to be him, bro. You do. <laughs> you want to be him. That's why you always choose him, bro. For real. Who? Uh, Come on. Bre- breezy for life, man. Fuck you want to be man. him, bro. For real. You, you think his uh, transparency uh, uh, vocals was better than Usher's? I think it was not. It, Usher's was needed on shit. I'll send it to you if you haven't heard it. He's like 6'3". You want to be 6'3". Both light skin. You want to <laughs> sing so bad. He sings. I figured you the fuck out, bro. Hmm. <laughs> he don't, don't, don't want to be Fat Jalen. He want to be Chris Breezy. He want to be, Chris he wanna be Sean. Sean Breezy. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, no, I, I think it's, it's unnecessary, bro. This is what happened when, when the game is born. He let me know that male R&B ain't popping right now, which I, I disagree. It's a lot of male artists out here. Surgery dropped. That shit is amazing. Our boy uh, Eric uh, Bellinger dropped recently. That shit's amazing. Fire. Raheem you know what I'm Devine saying? out here lighting stages on fire. Yeah, fire. I, I can't watch this show, bro. Every, for every man in the audience, bro. Every, for offending every man. <laughs> okay, Raheem, you came to City Winery and all of the men left the front of the stage. Everybody left. They, they left. He might as well just got naked, bro. And I took that man's seat. <laughs> I was right there when you was hunching on the stage. I was right there. I was mildly uncomfortable, but highly entertained. Oh, my God. Can you, can you whoop Chris Brown, bro? Hell yeah. He's a young boy. Can you whoop him? What? No okay. woman, no man. You came in, in the pool. You a spank him? No, I'm, I I raise him in the pool. Not, mm. I ain't crazy. Like, why, why do I want to see? A, why do I want to see an R and B fight? Like, R and B dudes are wild. They they wild. They actually like feel left out inferior. So when they get a chance to shine, they go crazy. Just ask Trey Songz who fights everybody he sees. He pull, he pulled other men hair out, bro. That's wild. It's that one line that really just uh, like the everybody wish it was you. Like that was Disgusting. that was ouch. You yeah. know, like it was like okay that, shock value. It, and 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 unnecessary. Um, but I also realize people, you know, people with microphones say whatever they want to say. Look at us, right? Yeah. Look, I just I, I don't think uh, I don't think Quavo or Chris Brown are old enough to let it stay on wax, right? So that they, one, they thirties, right? yeah, they. Who is Chris enough, Brown pulling up on? And for, like, what what is, he has mostly women at his concerts, right? Like, who's hell of security. Yeah, like what? How, According how to Chris is this? Brown, he got hands. I mean, he got long arms. We know that. All, I, all I'm saying is, <laughs> all I'm saying is, I don't think that beef. I think that one could escalate, right? Because they're not old enough. But with what crew let, though? Like to let it subside, right? I think that the J. Cole it's pussy world, involved, bro. It's, it's going ex- exactly gonna be that, it's pussy yeah, involved. That, that part. I can't see where they would be in the same place at the same time the and not be was. on par- not be on purpose. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Like I don't see them running in the same circles or being in the same place. To, you know what I mean? Like then he that, gonna say, "I sat next to you at Fashion Week. I would have broke your face, but I want to say the back, fam. When Fashion Week was over, you could have went outside. Y'all could have met anywhere. You could have followed him anywhere and got down to it. But you know what? I don't want to boys, see that the, the Migos boys. It's, I got family down in Atlanta. It's rumored that when they roll people, that people got them sticks. You don't want that problem, Chris. You can't sing your way out of a shootout. You can't sing your way out of a shootout. You can't do that. Fighting over and a woman what? is trash any fucking way. You want to fight for your wife, First bro? of all, yeah. Fighting over a you woman over your wife? is trash. What? You put you on the spot right there. Real spot, real, real spot, real quick. Fight, over, fight over my wife for what? Okay, cool. Oh, I'm he not- did. He, he had, I think there was a show where he did say, like, they're walking away. Mm. Like, what, what, what are we talking about? Like, you were in an elevator. Oh Lord! Someone disrespects bro. her. Yes, <laughs> the elevator. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, right. that's something. That's something different. Yeah, but we're talking about rap beef. Like, come on! Don't, call, feel, don't call Chris Brown a rapper again, bro. I feel. I feel like. That's I feel fair. like. So, so my 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 baby daddy probably still would if somebody came at me sideways, even though it's been years. I think he definitely would be offended to the point where he would pull up. Is it because he's he's possessive? Um. No, I think he he like other men are protective and if you if you offend if you offend a man to the point where they got to say something they will yes yeah, you know like, it doesn't matter how much space you have, Come on, girl. have between and, <laughs> and y'all y'all re- and, and y'all really like to keep it 
I PG. think the most I think the most the most dangerous men are the ones that control themselves. The ones that yeah. are that are strategic and they will like, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk first. And as women, we be like, yeah, beat his ass. We 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 wanna see y'all go. <laughs> Why your boys do that? <laughs> Because I, I know I know my man handled the situation and I was irritated at first. Like, I want you. And I had to sit back and trust like, all right, well, you also know that that you that type of dude that all you have to do is say something one time. And then if if the person doesn't listen or goes to the left, you got you got some menu. But I think a lot of men are able to handle things with just the conversation. Kels, let me ask you this. Yeah. If you're locked up. Hypothetical. You're locked, locked up, up for life. Mm, come on now. Yes, I'm getting a degree. And, <laughs> and I'm she's learning three. She's learning music too. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're locked up. You're locked up for life for whatever crime. And you die while in prison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but the doctors revive you. <laughs> Is your life sentence over? And should um, you be released? Well, based on my newly uh, received Juris Doctor degree uh, given to me by the state of Illinois. Um, Talk about it. I would, I, I would petition that yes, I would petition so. And if not, I would lobby for a law to be made that favored once I die and I'm revived, I'm out. Which sets precedent for everybody is going to try and kill themselves and, be yeah, for sure. and come back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we might have to put some stipulations how much, in that bill. How much time really can uh, makes you legally dead? Is it like ten seconds, a minute, right? Like where where are we have the metric? Um, if 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 uh, if, if, the flat, if it go poo, flat line, any flat line, any flat line, I think and, I love that. Uh, any, I love any, that. Any flat line, and you brought me back. I'm 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 here. I'm risking it all if I got life. <laughs> you fuck you, going? Every <laughs> year I'm trying to fuck a flat line. Trying to <laughs> How long? Do <laughs> but you? It, I think it would have to be like natural. Like so, it's natural life. Death so is death. he was um wasn't wasn't uh oh no, he wasn't he's not um what is it called on death row? Ah uh, no, he wasn't. On he death wasn't row. sentenced to death. No, he was so he to was life. in there until natural life. Yes, and so he clearly did. I guess also, uh, I'm like you sign a, a do not uh, resuscitate, so he didn't sign that. Mm. Right, so do not resuscitate is like. Once I flatline, do not make do not any bring attempt me to, to bring me oh. bring me back to life. So if there is a do not resuscitate that was offered that he denied, then also you're kind of uh, like you have this framework of this person can die and we can bring them back to life. So natural, yeah, I'm petitioning. Give me, give me my free. Yeah, give us us free. If you die naturally, if you die naturally in jail, and you some. How I'll come back, you know, you zombie it up and zombie around from the dead, you get some laughs and some Jesus Easter type shit and come back from the dead. Pap, stay your ass in jail. Whatever the fuck you was there for, stay your ass in jail. <laughs> you deserve to be there. Now, now legislators all around yeah, America is like, wait, jail, we gotta bro. close this loophole. So if this motherfucker mass murder, if Jeffrey Dahmer, the dick eater, the ball eater, the forearm oh, eater, no. the fingertip eater, if he died, what no different? If he died and came back, you want him out here on the streets again? Well, get your ass back in that cell. I said I petitioned for it. <laughs> Y'all ones gotta saying, keep though. me in there. But, but in jail. if I'm locked up, like I'm trying to beat the system. But if I was here, why would I come back? On well, you couldn't beat shit, the though? system if you didn't have your degree. So which one is it? Fuck that degree. What are you talking about? Fuck that degree. Uh, <laughs> Ain't no degrees. Dear in jail. jail people, we don't need y'all out here. <laughs> y'all stay in jail, bro. For real. I this think that 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 um there are there are I don't want to call them loopholes, but uh. After writing legislation, you realize like they're all of them have an out. You can argue what a law means in a certain circumstance, and you just have to get people to agree with you, you know, or you change the language. If the language is ambiguous, then you can kind of argue around the ambiguity. And so he has a now everybody's talking like, is it? Does it? It's not clear. And it's clear it's not clear. You know what? I gotta go back to the conversation a little bit. <clears throat> so way back in the show. The five things I would take if I was on the run, <laughs> not be found again. It's still gonna be a chick, oh right? It's still gonna be a chick. I need to take. A, I need to take. A, it don't really matter. I need to change my identity. I need to change my identity to go with me somewhere. I can't be the same. I can't be a Bossy Thompson. Who you gonna in, be? In, in uh, I don't know. I can be Umbaktu. Uh, what is? I can be, give me a Spanish last name though. Umbaktu Rodriguez. <laughs> You'll never Gar find me. Gar Garcia. <laughs> you a black <laughs> Jimenez. Give, Jimenez. I'll be somebody. Bro. I'll be a black. I'll be a Dominican. I'll be, you know what I'm saying, on the, the border, border Latinos and Hispanics, bro, for real. Like, 
Say, let me take my identity so you never find me. I would have said my wife, but she's never leaving the kids. Where did so that come I'm from? Like, yeah, I'm, huh? I got I to gotta get out of here. Oh, so you, <laughs> you, you kidnapped the baby. Yeah, leave the wife, leave yeah. the missus. Sorry. Yeah. She's she not going. She's not going. She, go ahead. You know you, can, you, know you can't call <laughs> her no more, right? She's going to run. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she'll be, uh, well, I told you. Question, so uh, would y'all ladies fight for y'all? In what circumstance? Uh, if I had a lady, yeah. And what circumstance? I don't know in any circumstance. No, like, you know what? Could you, no. could you see? Could you see your wife like throwing nope. hands? Yeah, on a, on another one. Nah, if she, she had to, hands, nah, she hell no. Nah, because I don't. I think there's nothing more disgusting than seeing women fight, bro. In my opinion, I, I've always said this. I don't like to see women fight. To me, it makes my stomach hurt. You know what I'm saying? If you I can, don't fight there. Yeah, damn. See, there you go. I don't fight there. Yeah, no, I think it's corny. I think yeah. it's corny. Yeah, somebody, somebody puts their hands on me. Somebody gonna call a sexist for saying that though. What? To w- not women shouldn't fight. Yeah, you know like, what I'm saying? we don't mean it like that, but y'all goofy. They goofy like that, though. That's true. I mean, if if a dude is messing with y'all, I'm definitely standing. What's your go to move though in a fight? Oh, kick you in the uh, kick you in the middle. You straight off the movies, huh? <laughs> What's your go to move, bro, in a fight? Kick you in the middle. <laughs> you better not say that. Oh, the sweep. You know how you you. you I know he's gonna get close, no, no, look, look. the leg. No, no, no. Karate you, kid ass. No, no, no. You get close enough. Where you put that leg behind one of them and you push them, boom, they go down. And you, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what he said the last time we talked yeah. about this. Like his go grappling to. game is go decent. He getting you on go the to. ground, <laughs> bro. I'm I'm five ten with Tim's on, bro. I got to use all all. You gonna be right energy, on top bro. of somebody, just and, disabling and the hell out of them. My arm's short, so I gotta you know I got. <laughs> you gonna be right there with me? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, gotta, I gotta. Man, what you you know? Nah, bro, we ain't on that. Well, I'm our, he he not even watching the left or right <laughs> leg, right? <laughs> then it's push. <laughs> that's smart though. That's smart. That's fucked up. That's yeah. smart though. Mine's I want to see this on a dummy. A right left. Mine's. A, well, I can actually fight though. So mine's a right left. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a whole right left. No shame. <laughs> yeah. Boom, I ain't got to do that. Right <laughs> left. Yeah, I mean, he's 6'5. He did it. Yeah. But then you, 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 fake, you fake the punch. You fake the punch. All right. It's a kick to the leg, bro. It's a kick. Kick, kick is smart. It's a kick yeah, because it, it, it keeps distance between you and the person and makes distance. I got a homie, Joe. I got a homie. What up, Tom? In a fight, this mom will jump up and drop kick you, bro. He will jump up in your, in your face and kick you. I'm like, Joe, nobody's expecting that. At all. At all, bro. He, he, I think he's motherfucking 57 and 0. At all. He's undisputed, bro. And I got into, a, I almost got into a fight with this Jamaican uh, lady, uh, well, woman. We were um, in college and uh, she had come into my room and like cut all of my panties down the middle. She wanted that shit, huh? Man. Well, easy accent. That's what so, up. Well, uh, it was something with her and her dude and, and I'm like, I didn't want them, but it went to the left. And so she's in the room, she's talking crazy. And I'm just thinking, like, okay, um, I really can't fight. <laughs> I can't fight. And so I pull out the ironing board and I put the iron in like I'm about to iron. Ooh. And Ooh. Um, she's still talking what she's going to do. And I take the iron and I just start swinging it. And I'm like, you talking crazy. This is not going to end well. She didn't leave when she saw that shit? No, she didn't. She thought, she, she, she thought I, and, and I had to... I had to like prepare myself because I'm like, you're really going to have to go through with this because now she's like, she's threatening me. Yeah. Um, and she's in front of the door. So I also can't get out. So at this point I'm like, I I have to, I have to look like I'm willing to risk it all. I'm Definitely not putting shit. my hands on you, but I am going to protect myself. So I got a hot iron. I just start swinging it. And now, now, now people want to come to the table and negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got a plan until, until the threat is upon them. I so said I'm from Chicago at least 25 times. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, I'm from the crib. Did you hear me? Chicago. Yeah. C-H. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord, I was praying to God. I'm like, I'm going to church on Sunday. We got to get you one of these new, these, new, uh, these new hoodies. That's out. For real. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I want to uh, I want to do a, uh, we should go to like a, a fight class, learn how to fight. Y'all, oh. should go, y'all should go to a fight class. I'm good. <laughs> I'm saying y'all should go to fight. I'm good. You gotta get up on your grappling game. You know what, what, what was the Google shit that, that she was doing when, when we Googled it? Google names. Google names. Oh my god. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she said we. No, y'all go to fight class. I'm good. <laughs> I'm decent out here. <laughs> I would. I would. Sweaty. I would. I would love to. Uh, yeah, I would I'm love strapped. to go to somebody's somebody's class and see see what it is. You should learn like Croft McGraw or uh, a type not type on the uh, uh, Hapkido. We use you use that? your body as as a. Uh, Momentum shifter. That would, that would do you well. Both y'all. What do you probably. mean? What's, what's that mean? Apkilo is a, it's a style of fighting. Style of martial arts. Oh, when I... Uh, so, and, yeah. now, and now my like phone froze. Hip tosses and things like that, though. Phone garbage as hell. Stop playing with him. Yeah, whatever. Oh, here we go. All right. So what does everybody's name mean? 
I spell Ken Day's name I'm all the way I stand wrong. for. Truth, justice, and the American way. <laughs> a bossy name meaning. <laughs> it means honey packs and rhino pills. Okay. To um, death. <laughs> what? Yeah. Every, every store I stop by, I stop in if they got some honey. Every single store. I'm going to buy all the honey in Chicago one day. Mm. I'm going to black market that shit. All right, let's yep. see. You need honey right, tea? Come get this dick honey. Straight up. I've never. Put dick honey in your they tea. They don't have that type of stuff <laughs> they don't for women. dick honey in your tea. They don't have that type of stuff for women. They do. Do they? They do, yeah. Mm, I, I, I wouldn't I, trust none of that. I got a guy that got stuff for girls. It's okay. Most they no. use it for 24 hours. What? You need spare panties on you. You take oh your shit. Who, yeah. Who still wears bro. panties? <laughs> uh, can, can, you, can you get to the shit? <laughs> it's, it's in your phone, too. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm busy right now. Oh, but. my God. Okay. Uh, Abbasi's name uh, in Egyptian means stern. Talk about it. That's what happens to this dick when I take them pills and oh money packs. Oh, my God. It gets stern. They not lying so far. This is spot on. Uh, this is real oh. shit. <laughs> McKenday's name uh, means uh, God has brought forth this hero. That's a lie. <laughs> Complete. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lie. Um, <laughs> Amon's, Amon's name stems from the Greek, uh, which means the hidden one. Definitely seemingly not. shrouded in mystery. You are flashy as hell. Yeah, this is it's, absolutely it's not, not true. going well for this thing. No, it's actually true. No, it's his so height, you're got, shrouded in mystery. He got hit in height. He got hit in height. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm comfortable with y'all, so y'all y'all see the real me. But you know what I mean. In real life, I don't talk. Oh my goodness! So it was funny looking up looking up uh, if y'all have any like online presence. And Amon, you do not. Damn. Yeah. You got pictures of every everybody else but you. I was like, is that CeeLo? All right, well, why does CeeLo pop up when... <laughs> why does CeeLo pop up when they your name a, is Google? They got the same stomach. <laughs> <That's> so- <laughs> Come and get your soul food. <laughs> well, well. well. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is... Oh that's an old goodness. song too, ain't it? That's what is so your funny. digital footprint, Kels? Uh, my digital footprint is it goes crazy. Yeah, oh Lord. I'm I'm decent. What is that? What? My name? Mila. Mila means people's love. Or you, Apple. You made that up, but go ahead. No, I didn't make that up. <laughs> my birth name, my birth name means warrior. I thought it meant like good tight end. Football tight end, I mean. <laughs> good, good football tight end, <laughs> yeah, y'all. Okay. Kelly Winslow. Talk yourself right Gotta clean, now, clean that shit up. <laughs> clean that shit up, man. I clean it up. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, somebody in your DM, that ain't your motherfucker. You're right, right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they already be on that bullshit. They ain't so good. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. They don't say haters. nothing to me. Hey, y'all. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh, uh, what, what, dollar what? sign me, little love Mars. The cash If out. you love him, you love me. You love you go. Wayne. Donate. Donate the love. Yeah. My birthday is February 2nd. That is so far away. <laughs> so far away. You know so I mean? far like, away. We're, we're, we're into uh, summertime now. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's, it's only like Aquarian season plus 29.3 days. Right All right, now. man. We finna get out of here, man. Shout, shout out to- uh, I ain't got no birthday. Simba, right? Appreciate you, Shout brother. out, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to Michi, man, last Michi. week. Shout, shout out to Michi. To... Shout out to Mushmouth Michi. <laughs> Shout out you to got Chuck. That, that liquor, bro. Shout out to Chuck. Shout out to Chuck, man. Chuck been killing the uh, the acting game, man. He all over CPD. Uh, yeah. yeah. Chicago Fire. A couple other joints, man. So he been killing it, man. You know, these are friends. We next, show. bro. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and shout out to our goddamn selves. You know? For sure. Um, we out of here, man. This is episode 194. We moving, bro. Shit, we moving. Get the fuck out of here, man. Yes, I'm hungry. What up, Brandy? We are oppressed. We are exploited. We all downtrodden. We are denied. Your mama's on the corner. Never been downtrodden.